<coughs> quite a high quality of applicant, but there were three that were relatively outstanding. Uh, my name is Andrew Hopkins. Um, I'm from the National Art School. I studied here, and um, I'm a painter, as you can see. My work sort of stems from um, the the landscape, and uh, I mean these works here. Yeah, they're all from different places. In the city, I've taken on the place. Like my my works are sort of really strongly embedded in place. Uh, my name is Todd Fuller. I'm from the Hunter Valley, but I live in Sydney. And my practice crosses across animation, drawing, sculpture, and painting. Uh, I first studied at the National Art School and moved down to Sydney to study there when I was 18. Uh, ever since I've sort of been exploring drawing and exploring how I can push drawing into the moving image realm. Uh, basically I, I create narratives, hand-drawn narratives, so I start with a, a figure or a moment and I continue drawing from there. Uh, as I draw, I document the process, so mark by mark I take a photo and then I weave those together to form a film. Uh, those stories are usually grounded in, in a, that character's search for self or his own processing of loss. Um, and from that process then I extend those characters further and bring them into the third dimension with characters like this little guy. Sophie Kate, um, from Sydney and my practice is, well they're all psychological self-portraits but they uh, look like it, uh, abstract landscapes I suppose. Um, they're about um, things that have happened to me. I'm sort of trying to find the boundary between figuration and abstraction and trying to bring that together. One of them is a portrait of Paul Watson, who was captain of the Sea Shepherd fleet that stopped the whaling in the Southern Ocean. Um, and it's all done with whale fat and blood. And because it's, for me, it wasn't about just painting his portrait and his facade, which is what we see in the press. It was about getting to know him and understand him and tell a story about what he's seen and what he's witnessed and try and get that the emotion and the feeling. And so his internal landscape across rather than just you know, what we see on the outside. And then this one, White Squall, is, um, well, I actually did that now. I was doing a residency in Austria, Austria, yeah, up in St. Christoph in the snow. And um, I got caught in an avalanche because I was working outside in the snow. It was minus 30, it was freezing cold. Um, and I just thought it would be like, because you know, I work a lot in the desert in Australia, so I just sort of went, oh, I can work in the snow. Can't be that hard. I used to be a professional athlete for many years and it's, for me, that's why my works are so big. It's my way of venting and it's my way of getting that adrenaline rush and that physicality. And well, I think it's an extraordinary foundation. I mean, there's so much support for it and... Any foundation that puts as much time, energy, and let's face it, money that they do into emerging artists deserves a lot of credit. What they do is pretty special. Um, and I think they know how amazing they are. What they do is incredible. I think um, it's very difficult to be an artist in Australia because we're so isolated and there isn't really much support behind the arts. So, And they helped me when I was at the National Art School with a small grant to, um, to get me through my studies, which I'll always be grateful for. Well, I'd just like to say, in relation to, to the artists, we'd be proud to have any one of them representing us in Rome. So here we're looking at our second uh, fellowship and um, uh, the decisions like this are very, are very difficult. So I can tell you, um, I can announce that the, the winner of the 2013 fellowship is Todd Fuller. Thank you. Thank you. Um, uh, I'm shaking like that. Um, I'd just like to start by thanking the William Fletcher Foundation. Anyone who does the amount that you guys do for emerging artists need uh, so much commendment. And thank you, and thank you for making me worthy of, of this prize. Um, and I'd also like to, to thank my mother and my father who uh, have been huge supporters of me. My mum came down today again, she comes to all my stuff. She's like my secretary, my assistant, my, my dad's like my engineer. Like They're very supportive, very wonderful people as well as Emma and the rest of my friends who continue to support me. Um, I think I've got to give a big kudos to the National Art School who Sophie, Andrew and I were all in the, the same year um, and we all owe where we are to the great teaching that we, we got in these buildings. And also thank you, and, uh, what do you say to you guys? Thank, congratulations on being here. Um, my application was all about uh, following the footsteps of the great masters and, and uh, 
uh, I referenced Bernini who, who used to study statuary and there's some great writing about Bernini picturing his statues in his mind and knowing them so well that he could move them with his mind. And as an animator and someone who's interested in movement and bringing artwork to life, that's what I'm interested in pursuing over there. So not just uh, refining my skills, but progressing forward the work of great masters through animation, hopefully. That's the plan. Yeah. <laughs>